Welcome to Bald Knob. I'd like to introduce you to Brad and Tara Peacock, Achievement Award finalists. Thank you for having us and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, folks that have not had a chance to meet you guys, tell us a little bit about the farm. I started farming right out of college with Daddy. Before that, I was on the farm, so we're, I'm actually the fifth generation. We're still not on the same land that the family originally owned, which the family still owns that. So then about 2012, Daddy said, we're setting you up with your own crop loan. So kind of threw me in with a hundred or so acres, and we've grown to about a thousand acres now, what me and Tara had. Then Daddy still has about 2,000 acres that I pretty much manage and do a lot with our crew there, so. We have uh, rice, soybeans, and corn. Yes. Um, we're new to corn a little bit, but we farm those three things. Yeah. And Tara, in the meantime, You've got a terrific two-year-old son, Silas, who you also have to parent in between all the rest of this. Yes, I would say that's probably my most important job on the farm right now is, is raising, raising a tiny who, of course, you know, two-year-olds, the norm is loving tractors and trucks and things, but that's just part of his everyday life. So um, he definitely will grow up knowing the importance of farming. Uh, well, and I can't imagine a better place to grow up on a farm like this. Uh, this lifestyle, it's clearly in your blood. Can you see yourself, either of you, doing anything else? I, I don't think you can with farming. I mean, um, once you decide to farm, it, it's not it's not an easy decision, I would say, because it's not an easy job. And so you have to love it. And, um, you know, he's been in the corporate side for a short time, and I just remember how, how much he didn't like that. And so, um, I know whenever he came back here to farm, I definitely know that's the happiest he's been. And Brad, there are so many things that are beyond your control. You can do everything right, and then it just not turn out the way you want it to. How do you deal with that? Years like this, which we're blessed not to receive all the rain that they did in South Arkansas, thank goodness. We've still been wet, but um, you just push on and go forward, and you start with plan A every morning, then I think you're on Roman numeral 1000 <laughs> at the end of the day. Or for our operation, it seems like it. You have to be optimistic too to do this yeah. um, day in and day out and then year after year. What advice would you give, uh, would you give yourself today to the younger Brad and Tara uh, when they started out farming? Get good help. Like we've got to, we're blessed to have a couple part-time guys that just come in as we need them, drive tractor and a lot of guys don't have that. Then we also went the H-2A route last year. They're here to work and they want to work. And one other thing to guys, I'd say try something new. Go with the flow. I mean, you're gonna have to. <laughs> That's something that, and I didn't. I didn't grow up on a farm, um, but just knowing when we first got married, I'm a pretty easygoing person anyway, but just, just knowing you can't make plans. Nope. There, there are no plans, especially from April to November. There's going to be nothing that you can for sure say is going to happen. It's, it's a family job. It's not just one person for sure. Um, you all have to be involved and love it. 